with Order of Tear. Um, you've probably noticed by now if you've been checking out our YouTube page that everybody's got a new show except for me. Uh, but that ends now. This is the first episode of my new show and I have no idea what I'm going to call it. This is raw, uncensored, uncut and um, by the time this gets uploaded there's probably going to be some fancy schmancy name up there. Uh, it'll say something like Order of Tear and then it'll say the name and then I'll have uh, pound sign zero zero one and then you know if, if I think of something there may be some text beyond that but probably not. Um, so what is my show about? Um, this is going to be something where um, it's kind of like Mike's and Donna's as well where it's just like a personal video log you know with regards to the band, me, what I do in the band, that kind of stuff just in general what I do. Uh, but my hope is to kind of show you some of the uh, uh, tools that I use in the band um, as far as writing things, getting things recorded, um, tools that I use for other nerdly activities. <laughs> uh, probably show you some stuff with um, uh, Linux, uh, things like that, kind of, you know, nerdy, because <laughs> that's just kind of how I roll. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what, what I'm going to do. Uh, this episode, I don't really have a whole lot planned out of what I'm going to really be talking about. This is kind of, you know, off the cuff, sort of uh, extemporaneous. Um, but uh, if you saw my last video, the, the fifth order of tier clog, by the way, that's something I want to explain right now. You may think that's weird if you haven't listened to any of our previous doings. Um, the reason why we call it clog, it's kind of tongue in cheek because we think blog, you know, everybody talks about blog now and it's such a common phrase and, and uh, for those of you who don't know, all one of you out there who probably aren't even web savvy enough to be watching this video right now, uh, blog is shortening for uh, weblog. So you just drop the W-E and uh, it's blog. It's just easier to say than weblog. Um, so people start doing that with video log, and they call it vlog, or, or you know something along those lines. So we we were being goofy, and we were like, well, let's call it cinematography log, and then it'll be clog, because clog's easier to say than vlog. So that's what we did, and that's just it, we're dumb. But you know, it's funny, kind of. It's just sort of what we're, what we're doing with it. Um, so that's what the clog is, and that's where Mike gets his the hammer clogs from. Um, my show is kind of, or my video series, whatever you want to call it, is going to be, like I said, focused on like kind of the things I do day to day within the band and just within my general life because basically between my job and band, that's pretty much all I do. And my job is web focused too, so uh, I'm a web developer, so I, I do programming during the day and then I come home and do musics at, at night and then internets and video games and you know all stuff like that. So um, I guess uh, part of what I want to do in this first episode is um, do something we've done before but I guess try to be a little more uh, blatant about it. I want to plug uh, Rainwave and if you guys haven't heard us plug Rainwave before this won't be the last time but um, it's a really awesome website uh, Rainwave uh, R A I N W A V E dot C C. Um, I think that went off the frame there, so I'm not going to be able to line anything up here. <laughs> but Rainwave dot C C. Um, it's a, a web radio uh, channel where uh, all the songs you get to vote for it. Um, really cool stuff. If you have not checked out Rainwave, please do. Um, and I'm not. Uh, uh, asking you to do that because we are now on one of their channels, but we are. That's what's awesome. Um, we actually got uh, picked up on one of their uh, stations. Uh, they have actually three three channels. Uh, Rainwave, which is the main one, which is 24-7 video game music, and they have a, a second one, which is uh, all 24-7 um, OCR music, uh, Overclock Remix, which is a group of a bunch of different musicians who write remixes of video game songs. Basically they take the video game song, they take the new version of it, maybe a crazy genre like reggae Mario or something like that. Well that actually kind of makes sense. Whatever, reggae Guilty Gears or something. 
which would, you know, totally makes no sense. And then, you know, they have that kind of stuff. That's what OCR is. OCR is uh, ocremix.org if you want to check out that website. And then the third station is uh, called, it used to be called V-Wave, now it's called Mixwave. Uh, and Mixwave is uh, sort of independent music that has um, a sort of uh, video game, sort of that kind of slant to it, um, which we definitely fall under that umbrella. And we uh, very, uh, very gratefully got accepted to be on that, that station. So you can go, and if you listen to Mixwave, you can vote for Order of Tear, which is pretty cool in my book. Um, so yeah, Rainwave, check that guy out. Again, this isn't going to be the last time that it gets plugged, but Rainwave, in my opinion, can never get plugged too much because it is just really, really, really cool. I mean, it is like the best website on the internet, um, especially if you're like way into video games and video, especially video game music, um, because I sit on there all the time listening to, I mean, Rainwave is just original, the main channel, the original video game music. It, it doesn't, and they're actually, um, Actually, I'm getting crossed with what I'm saying here, but, um, you know, they have all kinds of really cool stuff. Mario stuff, uh, Zelda stuff, uh, you know, all the, the Final Fantasy, the really major stuff you would think would be there. But there's also all kinds of, I won't say obscure, but, you know, probably fewer people know about it. And that's, that's where we're getting a lot of ideas and inspiration for our music. Um, and when I say our music, it's really, we're, we're kind of doing the remix thing. I mean, we, we add... Um, original parts and we we uh, we take the melodies and we may uh, put them in an original context um, but you know we're, we're, we're straddling the line between uh, straight up remixing and original music it's 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 a little bit of both and I think we're sort of unique in that way or at least you know there's not a whole lot of us out there doing that kind of stuff and uh, I really want to get uh, I would like to get that kind of thing really big because I think it's a really nice unexplored space for creativity that uh, that nobody's really or, you know not very many people at least not enough where you can really name a bunch of bands off uh, you know a handful of bands off the top of your head uh, that are really making big moves in that creative space so I think it's it's kind of an um, unexplored frontier and I'm, I'm glad we're kind of you know uh, being the explorers on that uh, but one other thing about Rainwave I just thought and this is what kind of crossed me up a second ago um, they are bootstrapping for a new uh, chiptune channel, which really is exciting to me because I love chiptunes. Um, I, you may have noticed that we have a couple, uh, at this point, a couple of uh, chiptune versions of songs, uh, the first two songs off Flames of Destiny. Um, and my, my hope is within the next month to two months, try to crank out the rest of those for the songs. I may not do the last song just cause an 18 minute chip tune seems like it may be a little overkill. I may do some sort of edit or like redo of it. Um, we'll see about that. But um, and I know uh, at, least, uh, at least one person who is interested in hearing some more chip tune stuff. So uh, I'm probably gonna be doing that. Um, but if you guys haven't really checked out Chiptunes much, just, you know, you're on YouTube, go up there and search Chiptunes and watch some videos because some of the things these guys do with this stuff is just unreal. It's really innovative, original, creative music. Um, and that's really, really what I love about being involved with music. It's not, oh, and I'm not trying to make fun of anybody's music or, or put down anybody's music because I think art... Um, is is just like beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder, right? So the value of art can't be derived from uh, an, a, an, in an objective way. I don't think it can. I think it's extremely and always subjective. Uh, but yeah, that's that's probably enough of me rambling about you know a bunch of crazy stuff and <laughs> plugging Rainwave for the nth million time, um, nth million plus one coming up next. Um, but seriously, uh, check out Rainwave. Uh, I, might, I have plans to uh, show you, like I was saying earlier, the kind of the technology uh, that we use with doing our music. Um, uh, and also, um, if you saw uh, Donna's video from earlier this week, uh, she makes a really good point that I think that the three of us really want to drive to, to you guys is that you don't really have to have a whole lot of money invested in gear to get to get going with making music, um, 
because we, we use some some expensive pieces, uh, but we could do a lot. I would say ninety plus percent of what we do um, without the really expensive pieces we use. And the reason we use those pieces is basically because we had them. Um, because I'm I'm super music nerd again, <laughs> uh, music technology nerd, and so I. I uh, I've invested a lot of money in that kind of stuff, but it's it's not like it's necessary to be able to achieve what we've achieved, and uh, and and I'm not trying to say we've achieved some super grand, amazing, breathtaking, world-ending thing, um, but you know I, I I don't want people to get discouraged when they they hear things and they're like, man, I really wish I could do that kind of music. I really wish I had the resources to be able to make that kind of music, um, especially if you if you have it in yourself. Um, the tools shouldn't should never be something, in my opinion, to get in your way. So that's something that I, I would really like to strive as a, as a goal for us um, in, in some of these videos, especially my videos, uh, is to kind of show you how you can um, achieve a, a great deal of complexity, a great deal of quality um, with tools that are are, are either real, really really cheap or free. Um, there are a lot of really good free things out there, software and things like that. Um, and for a minimum amount of investment, you can really be making some awesome stuff. So that's kind of a preview of where we're, we're wanting to go. And uh, before I sign off here, you may notice I have a fresh t-shirt on. Um, this is actually a group of guys who make really uh, random but really, really funny, I think, uh, videos. Uh, it's it's really off kilter humor, but I, I love it. And um, uh, and I just got in the, the new awesome t-shirts that they made. I got uh, in the other day. Uh, so I want to make a give a, a plug for them. I think they only have their videos on Facebook, um, and their Facebook page has you know one of those really long URLs. I don't think they have like the customized URL. I don't think they've set up their customized URL yet. Um, so there's something like facebook.com slash freshfilm slash some random number. But uh, I have I uh, um, I shortened it uh, using Bitly and gives gave me one of those on F B uh, M E links and that's going in right here. So, well, maybe if I can get it into the picture right over my face, it's going right here right now. So uh, yeah, go and, and uh, check out those guys. Like them on Facebook. Uh, watch their videos. It's pretty funny stuff. I mean, it's not. Uh, it's not like mainstream humor, really. It's it's really you know off kilter and, and kind of uh, not backhanded humor, but you know just back backwards humor, if if, if I can describe it some way. Um, it really tickles my funny bone. So check those guys out, and um, uh, I will have another one of these videos next week. Uh, I may have to do a makeup video because it looks like I'm behind one because last week I did the uh, the tour of uh, the studio, so. Um, look out for that. Maybe I'll do that this next week. Maybe I'll wait another week or two. Uh, the big thing that's constraining me right now is space. You can see that I'm in this tiny space where we were doing our recording for the last album. So um, eventually when we get moved all out of here into the new space, I'll have a nice big room to show you what all we're working with and how you can work with it too and things like that. But if you want to give me any suggestions, any ideas, any questions, things you want me to answer, things to address, show you how to do, um, with anything, anything technology, even if I don't know it, I'll try to learn it and show it to you because I love learning new things regarding technology, regarding anything really, but especially regarding technology. So you can drop me a line at uh, Jordan at order of tier dot com. It's right here, something like that. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys next week. Later.